Hey y'all, so this is me after the uh, video has been filmed. Like this footage was filmed over two weeks ago. Um, I'm just now getting around to editing and posting it. The reason why it's been two weeks since I've filmed a video is because I thought my time was way more needed and energy. I thought my time and energy was way more needed in um, supporting the Black Lives Matter movement and promoting uh, black voices on my other social media platforms and um, learning how to become a better ally and doing research and just becoming more informed. So that's what I've been doing for the past two weeks. And this is all like this whole clip. I, you'll, I'll talk again at the end of the video. I didn't know anything that was really going on during this weekend, by the way. I'm not trying to be like bubbly and like not purposefully talking about it. I don't follow the news and I only go on Twitter to promote videos or just tell y'all when a video is out most of the time but I ended up checking Twitter later Sunday night the last day of this vlog and realized what was going on and um have since then been really active on Twitter and promoting black voices and black people so that's what I've been doing in these past two weeks and that's why I don't really address it myself in these clips um but i just want to let y'all know that um i am going to link some videos down below to some creators that i am subscribed to some black creators that i'm subscribed to who has po who have posted videos recently that i have found really informative and just overall important to talk about their feelings on booktube on being black just everything about the black lives matter movement at the moment okay sorry for the angle change um when I, my family walked in when i was making that clip and i don't really like filming in front of them but anyway um Yes, I'm linking videos down below. I'm going to be linking resources, petitions down below for you to sign that are very, very, very important. I just want to let everyone know that I love you and I support you and Black Lives Matter. Enjoy this reading vlog. It was filmed a very long time ago. So, yeah. <laughs> Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and welcome to the start of a brand new reading vlog. It's going to be a weekend reading vlog because I tried to vlog earlier this week and um, just nothing happened and I didn't read anything. So I'm ditching the footage from later this week. <laughs> I don't actually have work tomorrow. I normally have work on Fridays. If you didn't know, I'm a nanny. I have tomorrow off and the rest of the weekend to read books. Um, and I'm very excited because I have a bunch of things I need to read. I have a live show in like 30 minutes. So while I'm talking to you right now, I'm going to be getting ready. And of course, Ollie wants to leave the room right when I start talking. Brie from In Love and Words and I thought it would be a really fun idea to like get some of our romance channel ladies together and we're going to do a um, like a questionnaire live show kind of thing. Just people asking us questions and stuff like that and so that's in 30 minutes and i'm really excited i love all of these ladies i am also currently reading this book right here a court of wings and ruin i am almost halfway through the audiobook uh this is my buddy read with melissa from she's an open book who will also be on this live show here in a minute i'll link the live show down below if any of you missed it. That is the third book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. This is my third time reading the third book and that is the like least number of times I've read an Akatar book because I've reread the first book a couple times, maybe like four or five. And then I've reread A Court of Mist and Fury a million times and I've only read this book twice, once when it was released and then I immediately, right when I finished it, I went in. Uh, reread it again. I haven't read this book in three years since it's released in 2017. It was released my senior year of high school and um, instead of studying for finals, I was reading this book. My mom even like threatened to uh, take away the book from me because I wasn't studying for finals. So I'm really enjoying it so far. I've never listened to the audiobook before and apparently the narrator is different than the narrator for A Court of Mist and Fury. And so the narrators are different. It's very interesting. I like both of them in different ways, but I just, it's, I'm not that big of a fan of when they change narrators, if that makes sense. I am also about to start A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I don't have my copy with me right now, but that, that book's not going to be in this vlog. I'm going to have a soul vlog for that book. So I'm going to be reading that book probably this weekend, but I will not be talking about it at all. Just a fair warning. Um, and then I have to read... To Happen to Hoax by Martha Waters, this historical um, romance book is our Lovely Ladies Live Show pick for the month of, what month is it? 
it's May. <laughs> it sounds super cute. Um, and I can't wait to discuss it with Ashley and Jen. I still need to read The Beast by Katie Robert. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I really wanna read like a short Kindle book like tonight or something. I've just in the, been in the mood to read like short Kindle books um, and I haven't done that in a very long time. So that is quite possibly happening tonight. I'm going to finish this and I will chat with y'all when I actually have more of a reading update. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is later in the night. I finished the live show a little bit ago and it was so much fun. So thank you anyone who participated in it and who was watching and asked questions or was just watching for fun. I just realized my glasses are really dirty. Oops. I've just been watching booktube, getting caught up on everyone's videos because I'm so behind. My watch later playlist is a million years long and I've been watching TikTok and uh, that's about it. <laughs> For the past couple of hours my mom did get us mexican food so that was a big plus because i've been missing mexican food with everything going on in the world and you can't go out and get food yeah this may be like the fourth time we've gotten takeout in the past three months so i plan on cuddling with mr ollie who's already asleep on my bed and picking out an ebook to read a short novella probably before i go to bed because I feel like it, and I haven't done that in a very long time. Hello everyone, it's been a while since I've had a car clip in a vlog before. Today is a Friday, it's around four o'clock in the afternoon, and I've had a pretty eventful day so far. Well, not eventful, just busy. I woke up and um, tried to reschedule an orthodontist appointment because I had a permanent retainer put in on my bottom teeth when my braces were taken off when I was in the seventh grade. Uh, so it's been over like 10 years since that retainer was put in and uh, like two weeks ago I was eating corn on the cob and uh, split the retainer right into down the middle. Oop, now my phone is turning. So I asked to get it replaced and so I went and got it replaced today and it was so weird. Like the orthodontist office was like... It was so weird going in there. There was like barely anyone there. Um, and I hadn't been to the orthodontist since I was like in seventh, seventh grade. So it was just a strange experience for me. And then I filmed a video. That's why I have makeup on. I would not purposefully put makeup on if it wasn't for a video or something. So that's why I have makeup on today. Um, I filmed um, a video that's probably already out by now. It's um, my favorite friends to lovers books or just friends to lovers recommendations. Not all of them are necessarily my favorite. And then my mom asked me to help her with a photo shoot. My mom's a photographer, so she asked me to help her. So I am that's why I'm driving. I'm on my way back from it because um, she didn't need me for as long as she thought she did. Um, so that's what has happened today so far. I did read like a little novella last night. I think it's called The Voyager by Ellis O'Day maybe. Here's the cover on the screen. It says it's like 60 something pages, but you get to like the 70% mark and then it starts a snippet of book two, which I guess, I think their romance is like split into four books, even though they could easily, it could easily all fit in one book because the first book was like 30 pages long. Um, so I don't understand why it's four books long. So basically it's about this girl. She has been working at like a BDSM club um, thing. She's like a maid there and the reason why she works there is because her dead brother's like best friend runs the place and that's the only job he'll give her. The book is about her and then she's like watching a couple in the club like through one of those see-through window thingies. One of her other brother's best friends uh, sneaks up on her and sees her um, watching and then they like get together for a second and it's like that whole thing. It was kind of strange. I think I gave it like two stars. Not eventful, not really memorable, not really, I didn't really like it. I haven't read anything else today. I gotta turn, I gotta turn, I gotta turn. And there we go. Um, I haven't done anything else. I haven't read anything today um, because I've been doing all of those things that I just talked about. There was a book last night that a bunch of girls were talking about in the live show that they absolutely love and I need to read it. I can't remember the name of it. I have it written down. It's that one with the motorcycle club thing where it's the age gap and then he gets put in jail and then they write letters to each other or something. I forget the name of it, but 
I think it's by Gianna Darling, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Here's the cover for it. I don't remember the name of it, but I think I want to get that one and read it. I just got home. Go to read some books. Let's go do it. Hello, everyone. Happy Saturday. It is around noon, maybe. Um, I've just been doing some chores around the house, and I also been reading. I am around 26% of the way through Welcome to the Dark Side by Jenna Darling. I'm really enjoying this book. I don't even know if I described what it's about. Our main character named Lou, she was rescued in a shooting by Zeus um, when she was seven years old, but by him rescuing her, he also ended up killing someone. And he is I think like the leader of a motorcycle club or the president of a motorcycle club excuse me and I think there's a 19 age difference and he gets sent to jail and they end up writing letters back and forth to each other they become like pen pals through all of this and they become friends and this book then jumps to when Lou is 17 and I don't know how old Zeus is but it's 19 years age difference he's 19 years older than her it's already really really interesting I'm really loving it so far I'm really sucked into the story I'm really grateful to my booktube lady friends who recommended this book to me. I'm really looking forward to finishing it and just seeing what all of the hype is about because I'm really enjoying it so far. I've already said that many times. Okay, I just posted my video for the day or my video went live today and it's one that I really love. It's a friends to lovers recommendation video. Um, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. There's some friends to lovers recommendations in there. So I have all the books on a stack right here and I need to put those away. Um, I also am going to paint my nails because that needs to happen. Um, if I don't paint my nails, I start to pull and rip at them and chew them so I gotta paint them so that doesn't happen um also my new retainer is messing with me one of the like glued ones I think like the edge one it feels like it's coming off and I don't understand because it's like like super glue adhesive it's basically rock on your teeth and it's like coming off so I hope that's not something disastrous uh -huh. and I also really want to start to have into hoax because that needs to happen I got to get to doing all the things but I still I want to read welcome to the dark side like so badly because I'm really enjoying it so yes I'm going to get to painting my nails <laughs> much later in the day um it's like eight o'clock at night um i'm about to go eat dinner but i literally a minute ago finished a quarter of and brewing <laughs> i finished it and i cried oh my gosh there was so much that i forgot about in this book because i read it such a long time ago it was like reading a new book like i completely forgot about some of the things that happened i cannot wait for the new actar book that comes out next year like I am so, so, so excited. I need to read A Court of Frost and Starlight. I guess I'm in the minority when it comes to that book specifically because I actually love it. <laughs> Just because I love anything involving this friend group. I love that book. So people were kind of upset about that book being written and that there wasn't a lot that happened in it. But I loved it because it's just about their family and their friend group. I can't wait to chat with Melissa about this. I love the couple in this book so much. They're like a relationship I strive to be like. But it's a fantasy land so not really. But like, like their bond is just amazing so yeah i can't wait for the next akatar book to come out because i can't wait to read about all of the relationships that might happen in there with nesta and i want to know what happens with elaine like who does elaine get with y'all like i want to know because i kind of want her to be with one person but then i know she's supposed to be with another person so like i don't know what's going to happen anyway um so i have been working on a scarf it was gonna be a blanket but then it was too tiny for a blanket so I started I've made some progress on my scarf here um, I haven't knitted in so sticking long probably since middle school so this is pretty slow for me because it's been a while um, so this is the start of 
a scarf for me. I think I'm around 30% of the way through Welcome to the Dark Side by Gianna Darling. I'm like 30% of the way through that and I am really enjoying it still. I can't wait to continue. Hopefully I can read more before I go to bed tonight. I gotta pee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Again, excuse the ball throwing because that's all he wants. Good morning or afternoon on this Sunday. I'm just sitting outside. I took a bookstagram picture. That's why I have this with me. Um, I've been dying to read this one, Anastasia Retelling, but I have a few other books I have to get to that are on my TBR uh, before I can get to that one because um, I have some book club books and all that jazz. So yesterday I read up to maybe like 45% of the way through Welcome to the Dark Side and I'm really enjoying it. It's getting kind of steamy. <laughs> I didn't think that I would enjoy it this much, um, but I am really enjoying it. So as you all know, I've been getting into kind of like the baking scene. I really am liking to bake. Yesterday, I decided to make Rice Krispie treats, but I have celiac disease and I can't eat gluten. Instead of Rice Krispies, the cereal, I use Rice Chex, the cereal Rice Chex, and I used that instead of the Rice Krispie treat cereal. And yeah, I just mixed um, some butter, vanilla, and a whole bag of mini marshmallows and like put that all in a pot like stirred it until all of it was melted and then added like six to seven cups of the cereal and that's what i got and it was amazing it's yummy i can't wait to eat more of it i'm definitely going to put that in my recipe book i've started making a recipe book for myself because um i'm that nerdy and i like to make lists and books and and making my own little recipe book for myself so I can remember recipes. So that's what I did last night. And this morning I made myself some hash browns and had to help my parents with uh, organizing some paperwork. So that's what, all that I've done today. I need to finish that after I'm done playing with the dogs because I needed to take a break so I could play with them because it's supposed to storm again today or rain again. Like, what is it with Texas weather, like, in the past couple weeks? Like, it's crazy. So, I'm trying to get them all tuckered out and get their playtime in before it starts to rain and thunder because one of the dogs is petrified of thunder. She, there's no way she can go outside when it's thundering. So, we're getting that playtime out right now, and they're really enjoying it, obviously, as you can hear. And while they're playing, while I'm throwing them the ball, I'm going to be reading more of Welcome to the Dark Side. Hello, it is a little later. I just finished all of this paperwork I needed to sort. <laughs> and I got a package in the mail and that's because I ordered a book that I'm really excited for. I ordered it yesterday and it's already here. So I got this book because my lovely friend Desi, I will link her, um, Instagram down below. I don't think she has a YouTube channel. I believe she only has a bookstagram, but she knows that I love romances that have disability representation in them or just any book that has disability representation in it. I absolutely um, love those. And so she gave me a recommendation and I had to order it. I had to get it because it looked so good. We have Signs of Attraction by Laura Brown. Oh my goodness. So our main character male is deaf. That's all I know about this book is that he's deaf. Well, what more do you, like what more do I want? <laughs> I'm so excited to read this. If you have any disability representation in romance books that I've been already talked about, I will link a I will link a video down below where I have a whole video recommending romances that have disability representation in it. If you have any recommendations for me that isn't in that video, please DM me comment let me know because i am always looking for more recommendations like i just need more in my life because someone who has a disability i strive to read more books that have disability representation in them so i'm very excited for this i immediately bought it she didn't even tell me what it was about all she told me was that it has a deaf man character in it and um i bought it there you go 
Okay, so I'm currently cooking a very late lunch. It's three o'clock. <laughs> I am going to read some of Welcome to the Dark Side while my lunch is being cooked. I have some laundry going. Um, I have a little project I want to do later today. Um, after I eat lunch, I really want to work on my TBR cart. For my TBR cart, it's not like everyone else's that have the metal one that's really short or whatever that they get from Ikea. That was my original one. And then uh, my sister brought it to college with her uh, because she needed it for something else. So I ended up buying a different TBR cart and it's basically like a regular bookshelf. It's basically as tall as me, I'm five foot. <laughs> um, and uh, it has wheels and you can like double stack books in it. I'll show you a little later. But I just end up shoving books on the cart, not really thinking about like the placement of them. I normally, I just shove them onto the cart wherever they can fit. When I want to try to put the books that I am most interested in on the top and literally go most interested to least interested in. So when I am looking for a physical book to read, I will just pick the next one that's in spot number one and continue on. Like that's what I want to do because um, I feel like that would help me. So I'm basically going to sort the books based off of my level of interest, which sounds really appealing to me actually. <laughs> I'm going to read some more of the books I'm very, very, very interested in and make some lunch and I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> Okay, my uh, phone storage got full, so I had to delete a bunch of things, but I finished my um, TBR cart. I'm watching booktube. Here's Chloe from Always Booked. I will link her down below, but I wanted to show you what my cart looks like now. Okay, so here it is. Sorry for the very messy room. You probably see dog ear on the floor. We're not going to notice it. Okay, so what I've done is I've done the things I want to read the most literally all the way down and then it goes in front like all the ones that are in front that are not double stacked the ones that are in the front of the double stack are the ones I want to read more so it goes like the front is the most the front is the most and it goes down and then after that book it goes all the way up here and whoop, to the back so also by me doing this, I've realized how much space I have now on here because I had every single shelf full and I don't know how I have a whole shelf and half of one not full. <laughs> but yeah, these ones in front are the ones that I want to read the most. I'm very excited for these books. Um, I had to start this one for uh, Saturday's live show. I still haven't read this stinker of a book and I need to and then I want to read this one I just talked about that one my friend lent me this book I need to read that one because I just finished rereading the first book in the series and then this is our lovely ladies live show pick for the month of uh, what month is it <laughs> for the month of June there you go that's our month of June book um, and then just goes on and on and on, on in the order that I want to read books in and I am so excited about this. So let me know down below if y'all want a specific like TBR video because I haven't done that in a very long time where like I show y'all what books are on my TBR because that might be fun but I only want to do it if <laughs> y'all want me to do it so please let me know if you want me to do it. Hi guys it is editing Avery. <laughs> I never made an outro to um this video at all. I don't really watch the news, I'm not a big news watcher. Um, so I didn't know what was going on with George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter movement until like later that day. I needed to stop filming and stop reading 
and do more important things, obviously. Again, as I said before in the beginning of this video, please go check out any of the links that I linked down below. They're very important and very informative, but I did complete three books during that weekend. I think the first one was The Voyeur by Ellis O'Day. I gave that book two stars. Not really all that good. It's maybe 30 pages long. Could have been a whole book. I believe it's four books long. Could have been a whole book. And then I completed A Court of Wings and Ruin for a buddy read with Melissa from She's an Open Book. I gave it five stars, obviously, because I love the A Court of Thorns and Roses series so much. And of course, I can't wait for the next book to come out. And the last book that I completed was Welcome to the Dark Side by Gianna Darling. I did complete this book. I ended up giving it four stars just because I only give books that are like my favorite of all time five stars and that I feel like I'm going to reread over and over and over again. This book was very good, but I don't know. Towards the end, I wasn't as passionate about it as I was reading about it in the middle and the beginning. I just didn't feel the same passion as I did in the beginning of the book. So I ended up giving it four stars. I still recommend it. I still think it's amazing. It's just, I don't know, I felt less invested towards the end of it, I guess, for some reason. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I plan to make some videos coming up soon. I know it's been a while since I've made content, but I just think that during this time, my time was more focused on things that needed to be focused on. My videos don't matter in comparison to what's going on in the world at the moment. That's my point of view for y'all. Um, anyways, uh, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye.